So with the second week of spring break now in full swing, the Aransas National Wildlife Refuge is welcoming people with open arms. That nature preserve, though, still has not fully recovered from Hurricane Harvey. But as our Marissa Cumming shows us now, they are making do with what they have. When Hurricane Harvey swept through the Aransas National Wildlife Refuge, it did not hold back. Behind me you, you can see the shoreline that was eroded anywhere from 5 to 40 feet from the storm itself. That's Joe Sines. He's the manager of the refuge. Sines says they had 14 buildings affected by Harvey, seven of which had to be demolished immediately, and none of the buildings have yet to be repaired. Sines says that puts a strain on daily operations. We don't have the communications that we had before, so we don't have uh, phone lines in our building, so we're relying on cell phones and sometimes the coverage is not all that great out, out on the refuge. That's not the only accommodation they're having to make. The refuge's visitor center is closed down, so Laura Bono, the visitor services manager, is being more hands-on with guests. We don't necessarily have all the information in the exhibits in the building that we used to have. So, you know, we send volunteers out roving or Zach or I go out and talk to visitors. Visitors like Lori Rockman from Minnesota. We've been meaning to come out here for a long time and we finally have. We've heard so much about it. She says they weren't let down. The refuge is beautiful and looks better than she expected. I'm surprised how much has been done, though, because of all the devastation. So I think it looks really nice down here now. And everybody's worked really hard at cleaning it up. The refuge manager says within a couple of months, they should have selected sustainable designs for new facilities. Marissa Cummings, 3 News. Looks good to me. We'll